Hello everyone, this is uh, Tim Frankham here, percussion teacher at Regent Park School of Music, and I hope you're all having a great day. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for and use the Digital Concert Hall, which is the online archive of performances of the, Ber the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. And you can see it on the uh, computer screen right here. And uh, this archive is free during the COVID-19 shutdown. Normally there's a fee that you have to pay in order to use it, but they're offering it for free while we're uh, at home doing our social isolating. So um, it's there for us to enjoy. Okay, so once you get to the website, you are going to uh, scroll down and you'll see a yellow banner here. And you're going to need to remember this uh, voucher code, Berlin Fill. You'll need that a little bit later. So you're going to click on Redeem Voucher. All right, now you're going to need to create an account in order to access the videos. Click Register Now. Here you can enter your information in the different fields, including uh, at the bottom choosing a password. And then once you're all set with that, you're just going to click on the yellow button to register. What's going to happen then is you'll get an email from support at digitalconcerthall.com asking you to confirm your email address. So um, you can go into that email, click on the yellow button that says confirm email address and it'll take you right back here, I believe. You can use now the login field to log into your new account. And when you do log in, they will ask you for that voucher code. So you'll type in all caps, Berlin Phil, B-E-R-L-I-N-P-H-I-L, and you'll be able to access all of the videos. So now I've logged in to uh, uh, the Berlin Philharmonic's Digital Concert Hall. And this is what it'll look like. So there's um, a few ways that you can search for different concerts. Um, one of the simplest ways is just to search for the ones that they are featuring on the homepage of the website. And if you just uh, scroll down, I'm just going to scroll down, you will see that they, um, they're they featuring several uh, concerts just on the home page here. Uh, this one's called New Year's Eve Concert. Uh, this one is Simon Rattle Conducts Barrio and Bartok here on the uh, right. So let's say you wanted to watch that concert. All you would have to do is move your mouse and click the button Go to Concert. There it is. You scroll your screen down and right in the middle Watch Concert and you would simply click on that and your concert would be ready to start as soon as it loads. There it is. Okay, so uh, that's the easiest way to just search for random concerts. And uh, honestly, any of the concerts featured in this archive are going to be really, really good. So searching for random ones is going to give you a good concert to watch. But if you want to get more specific, you can. And here's how you do that. We're going to click on this button here that says Concerts. And I find the easiest way to search for something specific is to search by the name of the composer. Okay, So I'm going to search for the composer Antonio Vivaldi. I'll click on the composer button here. And then you're going to have an alphabetical list by last name. So I'm going to scroll down all the way to the V's. Here we are. All right, now I have to go a little further down. And there he is, Antonio Vivaldi. So I'm going to highlight that and click it. What happens when you click on the composer's name is it brings up on the next side here the name of the people who are conducting the concerts involving that, con that composer. And for our purposes, you really don't have to worry about that. Because if you look down below, it says there are three concerts featuring Antonio Vivaldi. Um, so we can just look through each of those concerts individually. It doesn't really matter who's conducting them for our purposes. So if you scroll down, you'll see if you wanted to watch this concert, click on Go to Concert. 
The one I wanted to bring up is this one here, Family Concert Autumn Sounds. This one is really great um, because uh, the, um, this is featuring a well-known piece by Vivaldi called The Four Seasons. And what happens is the person who's conducting and playing the violin solo takes um, the audience uh, and explains what's happening in the piece and plays some little examples of different themes from the piece and what the composer was trying to get across. So it breaks the piece down and really explains what's happening and then they perform it and it's an excellent performance. You get to see lots of up-close um, shots of the people playing their string instruments and it's a really uh, fantastic playing and a great concert. So that's one that I would highly recommend. So again, you would just click on Go to Concert, scroll down, and you could start watching this concert just by clicking Watch Concert. Another way to search for concerts, especially if you like concerts like the one I just talked about where they explain what's going on or if it's geared more towards kids, is they have, if you look down the side again, you can see that they have um, a category called Education. And if you click on the Education button, you can see down at the bottom there are 35 concerts in their Education series. And if you simply scroll down, you can see all of the different concerts in that series. And you can choose different ones to watch. So those would all be really appropriate for kids. You can also search for concerts, if you'd like, using a search bar at the top of the website. However, I find this to be a bit too picky of a way to search, and I'll give you an example of why. Let's say you wanted to listen to a piece called the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. Okay? If I type in 1812 Overture, and I press enter and search for it, it tells me there are zero concerts with featuring that piece. I happen to know though that they do have this piece in the archive. So I'm going to search again and I'll type in just the number 1812 and there are actually two concerts featuring that piece. The problem is that unless you type in exactly the way that they have spelled it in their archive uh, you will not get any search results. So in this case, they've used the French spelling, Overture Solennel 1812. We didn't know that, so there wasn't any way for us to find that piece unless I just used the number 1812. So it's a bit of a picky way to search for things, and you may not find the results you're looking for. So if you happen to search for the name of the composition you're looking for, and it doesn't show any results, that doesn't mean that it's not in there. It just means that you didn't use the exact spelling that they used, which can be tricky to, to make it match up. 